Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the self-hosted agent in a pipeline. In order to do that, first, we are back in our Azure DevOps demo project, and I need to create a repository to store my project in. So in order to do that, I'll click on repos, and I'll click new repository and for my repository name I'm going to use let's just type in demo dash self dash hosted dash pipe on I'm not gonna add a readme and we will go ahead and create that and that brings up to this screen here, which is going to allow us to um, use a repository remotely. I always like to use SSH, but before we can do that, we actually need to add a key out to Azure DevOps. So I am again using uh, Git, Git Bash on my Windows laptop. Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to create a a key for ourselves. So I'm going to type in ssh keygen. And it's going to create a uh, public private key pair for me. I'm just going to accept the defaults and overwrite my existing one because I've done this before. Uh, so now I have a brand new public key. And that's the information I'm going to need. I will type in cat and cat my public key and then I can take this public key and I can copy it and then I'm going to go back to my Azure DevOps account and I'm going to go down to SSH public keys I'm going to add a new key I'm going to name this key Sabo1-laptop let's call this 2 because I already have a laptop 1 I'm going to paste in that information I click add and now I've got my key added, laptop2 down here, and it shows that it's active. I can deactivate these. I can regenerate them, whatever I need to do. All right, so now I can go back to my uh, demo self-hosted pipeline repository. Again, choose that as my uh, method. But before I do that, I actually need to create it here. So I'm going to make dir, and I'm going to Use the same name that I used up here, which is demo self hosted pipeline. We'll do that and we'll see the end of demo self hosted pipeline. And now I do a git init to initialize a repository. And then what I want to do is I'm going to do a make dir dash p. And I'm going to create a directory called pipelines. And then I'm going to VI pipelines, and then I'm going to call this pipeline, um, we'll call it test.yaml. Okay, now in your pipeline, what you're going to want to do is it's a YAML file. So we're going to use standard YAML formatting. So a typical YAML file starts out with three dashes. And then I'm going to put a comment in. I'm going to say um, this is going to be pretty print uh, the pipeline name. So in Azure pipelines, it'll give it a default name, but that default name isn't all that descriptive. So the best thing to do is to Create your own name, and you use that by you create your own name by providing the name uh, parameter. And in this case, we're going to use some variables that Azure DevOps provides. One of those is called build, and this is a definition name. That's going to be the first element. I'm going to put a dash in, and I'm going to put a 
another variable that is provided by Azure DevOps, and that's source branch name. So what that's going to be is the branch that I'm on in Git. So it could be master, develop, or it could be a feature branch. So just let me know when this pipeline runs, which branch it's using. And then another variable will be the, uh, the date. And I'll give a format for that date of YYY month, day, and then I also want to make this unique. Um, so I might run this multiple times in a day. So what you'd want to do is put in your um, your revision number. And Azure DevOps allows us to do that by referencing it like that. So now I've got a name for my pipeline. Uh, the next thing is what's going to, to trigger it. So you can provide this trigger keyword here. And uh, what we want to do is say for branches, for branches, we want to include, and the branches we're going to include is, uh, we'll just say star. So all branches, and then we also want this to run on tags. These are all just um, standard uh, Git type um, items. So in this case, we're going to use, again, we're just going to say any, any tag that might be applied. So anytime anything is checked in, this pipeline is going to run. Uh, the next step is going to be to add a keyword that Microsoft calls stages. So it just allows you to organize your work. And what we're going to do with this pipeline is just to demonstrate the self-hosted agent versus the Azure hosted agent. I'm going to create uh, two stages, one that's going to use each. So uh, the first stage, uh, let's put in here. Let's put in, um, let's call this test self hosted agent. And then uh, put in a, and the formatting on my VI is very wrong. Let me just set that to, uh, let's just see if that helps me out at all here give up our, uh, our color coding uh, self test hosted agent and then what we want to do is we want to name this stage this stage is going to be self hosted agent test for instance and now this is where we specify our pool and the pool what that we're trying to reference here is our agent pool. So when we name it, that allows us to use self-hosted agents. If we don't provide a name, it'll just use the default. So here we named our self-hosted agent demo-agent pool. So we'll put that in and then we have to give it a, an image name. And in this case, we want to use Ubuntu dash 16.4 okay uh, once that's done we can create a parallel job we know we're gonna do two of them but they're in they're not dependent on each other so the way you specify that is you just say that this particular stage is dependent on nothing to uh, open and close brackets and then we want to create a job. So here's our first job. And the uh, job name is going to be print. Let's just print the ENB. That's a simple thing to do. Uh, and then we want to give it a display name. So we provided a name for it. 
uh, but that name isn't necessarily um, nicely printed, so we'll just say here print env job. And one thing I forgot to do is you do need to enclose this in quotes. And then the next step is going to be to add a step. So this is a job and jobs contain steps. And those steps are going to be, uh, this particular one is going to use a script. So this just uses the default script language. In this case, it's bash. So we'll just type in the command that's in any Ubuntu image. And that would be a print env command. And then again, we want to give this a display name. And for this display name, we're going to say, um, so this is just going to give us our environment variables. And that'll just allow me to select it easily and see what I've done. And I think that should about do it for our demo agent pool. Now, essentially what I want to do is, uh, is we'll just do the same thing for uh, another, another stage. So if we don't need this stage, but we do need a stage. Uh, so this stage is going to be the hosted agent, that's right. And they were going to remove this name variable that we put in there. So now it's just going to use the, the default and I'll prove that that works when we actually run this. We'll leave the VM image. Again, this depends on nothing. So these guys will run in parallel. The job name is just going to be the same as the previous one. And so now we've got a, a hosted agent and a self hosted agent. I think that's pretty much all we need. I'm just going to get rid of blank lines here at the end. Um, and then we will write that. So now I've got pipelines. If I do a get status here, you can see that I haven't yet added this pipeline. So let's do a get add. I'll just include everything in this directory. Do a get status again, just to see what we've got going on here. We'll do a git commit dash m give it a nice message like initial commit and uh, now what we need to do is we need to link this git repository with our azure devops repo so we created that here and it's giving me commands to uh, to use this so i could clone i could have cloned this to my computer but it was empty so that's not all that useful um, but now that I've got an existing repo, this is typically the most the most useful one for me. Uh, so what I will do, you choose that SSH command. We've got our key out there already, so we should be good to go. And here's the command that it's going to execute. Um, and what this is doing is it's adding a uh, a remote. So the remote, think of that as the destination when you do a push. So if you're not familiar with Git. You clone repositories from other repos and you push repos um, to push your changes. And then if there are changes that occur in that remote repo, then the next command would be a git pull. So those are the, what we're going to do. Um, in this case, we just want to add that remote. So we copy that to our clipboard and we'll paste that here. So the first command it went ahead and added our Azure DevOps repo to this Git repository. And now we're going to push all of our changes up to it. Go ahead and do that. And there you can see that we pushed our changes up. And then if I do a refresh here, it should change because now it already has to have some files. And what we've got in our files is that test.yaml. OK, so that includes our pipeline. So here's our pipeline. And what I want to do now is I want to take this pipeline and I actually need to tell Azure DevOps that this pipeline um, needs to run. So I'll click on pipelines. It says, create your first pipeline. 
course. Let's do that. And what I want to use is my Azure repos get. So we'll choose that. And it knows about this demo self-hosted pipeline. And I could choose starter pipeline, which they try to kind of prompt you based on the type of project, what you're going to include. But we went ahead and wrote it ourselves. So we'll use an existing YAML file. And that's going to look in our master branch for that file. And I'm going to choose that pipelines test.yaml. Continue. And it in imports our, our YAML file that we just wrote. And uh, basically from here, I can just click run. And what we have is a syntax error. So that's fine. Uh, let's go find out what we did wrong here. So let's vi our pipelines. Uh, test and uh, let's see so we have what have we got here so um, let's see the error that it's complaining about is unexpected value job that's probably because what this actually wants is this needs to be a plural jobs and because I'm just copying that twice so jobs another thing I want to do just real quick just to clean this up a little bit is let's put comment here test uh, hosted agent so just so we know in the future that that's what we're trying to do here so we have a hosted agent and we fixed that syntax error I'll we'll right quit that and now let's do a uh, commit git commit dash m and we're going to say uh, we updated uh, test.yaml and what did we do we uh, fixed a syntax error with jobs all right so we fixed that oh, i forgot to add the uh, pipelines test.yaml at the end and now we can do a git push sorry about that git push and we say origin master and that'll push that out and just Let's just go back to pipelines. Oh, oh, there we go. We pushed it, so it's already running. Okay, so we had that error here. We pushed the change. We already configured the pipeline in the previous step. So this guy's gone ahead and um, running. And what you might have seen there is two check marks appear. So if we go and inspect what this looks like out on Azure DevOps, we see that we have those two parallel jobs. One is a self-hosted agent test, and one is the hosted agent test. So now we just ran a simple pipeline and uh, we can go, we can look at jobs and we see here we have the print ENV job and the other print ENV job. One was done as part of the self-hosted agent stage and the other is done as part of the hosted agent stage. Click on either of these and it'll bring it up, bring up this window. And when we look at this print ENV job, we can look in the window here and see that it it in fact is using the demo agent pool and it's using this particular agent which we set up in a previous video and uh, it's got some parameters here and then we can click on that environment variables step out of our stage and we can see that it printed all the variables that are passed to the agent when you run um, when you run a pipeline and then down here we have another print ENV job. This one was done in the Azure Pipelines pool. And again, uh, it was using an agent called Hosted Agent. And it basically ran the same thing. So now we have variables here. So now that gives you a way to uh, run pipelines in both the self hosted agent or on the Azure hosted agent. Hope that helped you out. Uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thank you very much.